So, I don't know how many sort of videos there's left to find. This chit chat thing's come up. Um, but I don't know what it would do. I don't know if that's the end of the game. And then I won't see the whole. I don't know. I mean, I presume this is all the stuff that's missing. Although it only says one volume missing and it's yellow there. Should this all be stuff? Is this all the videos? In which case, there's a hell of a lot more to collect. Let's take a punt and do this chit chat. And we'll see. Here we go. Good. So what do you? What? So you think you understand why your mother did what she did? Huh? So is she my mother? Is she my mother then? I'm Sarah. So I'm Sarah, and I presume that maybe I am a daughter. Well, I'm not a daughter, obviously. But the character is a daughter, maybe of this Hannah or Eve. I don't, I don't know which one. The Hannah, I guess it was Hannah. No, I thought she said the baby died though. So, oh, I'm so confused. But now we know my name's Sarah. Let's see what we can find. Sarah. I would have been a good mother. Ah, right, she gave her up, did she? I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Okay. Is that all there is about Sarah? That seems very strange. Seems very strange. You think she should talk about more about her daughter? Let's see what she said again. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana. But I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Is that because yours and Eve's are? Hmm. So why? Oh, I don't know. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. She's here. She's queer. Um, mother won't let her out. Okay. Window. They keep mentioning windows, don't they? Street. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here because I remember well I went over the river and then there was a church there yeah and I probably part well I remember seeing a street sign called Prince's Street yeah, there it is yeah so I'm pretty sure it must be this one there what's there then on Prince's Street okay I parked up in the street, it was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. I walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in, Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack, I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper, but he wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I looked quickly in the living room, nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. 
I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. Mm. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Elena. And then I decided to come and see you. Don't know. No, it's not enough. It doesn't explain a thing. Where is he? What's happened? Um. I don't know if anyone really changes. You just become more yourself. Simon was my prince. And that hasn't changed. Ah. Uh. Pretty sure I searched Simon those times, haven't I? Um, it's just gone up now then. Clip D11, D112. Hmm, why is it why is it blank? They all say blank. Can't I just search blank. How is that going okay? up? Just because I search blank. It's weird. A mobile phone? Yeah. Yeah? Well, they have one for the glaciers, but it's only for work. I can't remember the number. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. Charging. What were they talking about? This phone. Let's get rid of this fucking thing. Let's do glaciers first, because she's mentioning that. I did. Well, we met when we were 17, both working at the glaciers. Hmm. No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier, he doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Sure, yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. So you can make sure the evidence is all hidden? Hmm. Evidence. <laughs> ah. Rehearsed? You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I've thought about. My husband is dead. Oh dear. It's just really annoying trying to organise these in order. It just takes too long. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses. No. I wanted to see my reflection. I thought that if I touched her... Um... Jesus. Uh... uh, 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 uh Chit-chat. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, oh, God. What does this mean? Okay. 
Okay. Uh. Oh no. Hmm. Murdered. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. What is it? What is it? My husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Oh dear. That naughty boy. There was a conference. Something to do with double glazing. In Oxford? In Oxford? I don't know. I'm asking you. Are you sure? Are you sure? What would you be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? Oh dear. I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I moved out. Got a small bed sit. Got my tattoo to mark the occasion. I was singing in the bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. And I've been doing something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. Roots? Oh my god, you're so crazy, aren't you, bitch? I can just tell how crazy you are. He saw me singing one of my shows. Pure chance. Not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously, I knew who he was. But. He didn't know who I was. Ah, uh, but he must have recognised you. He was fascinated by oh, right. this. Well, he guessed my name from my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, and well, that would impress me. I enjoyed talking to him. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact. I'm oh, sorry, but likeness. I thought you were twins. I suppose they don't have. Well, no, they. He didn't tell me he was oh, married. Oh, I'm confused. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. So, if she's saying she met Simon in Oxford, and I'm guessing that's. Well, I don't know if that's Hannah or Eve, but I always thought that was Eve. Then. If they've interviewed. Both of them here, they must, they, they're identical twins, right? How could he think there's a likeness? He'd be like, fuck me, you're the same person. He'd think it was her mucking about. He wouldn't be like, oh, you're obviously someone else. That doesn't make any sense. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was sitting in the bar again, and there he was. And again the next week, he offered to buy me a meal. I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and ate on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. Romantic. I'm a detective sergeant, mother trucker. On the beach. With the chips. You're a singer. You do singing. Cheat. Mum and Dad never knew what was going on. We got so good at it. We were so in sync that we'd use each other to cheat. If one of us had a hangover, the other one would go to school. Whoever was best at a subject would sit the exam. There were lots of differences between us. Some things one is better than the other at. I'm guessing you're better at being completely fucking mental, right? Did I already try check cheating? I can't remember. How about a fair? 
An affair? Yes. Simon wasn't having an affair. Uh, well, okay. It's your take on it. You're reaching here. And I don't know why. No. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. But I have my baby to care for. That baby's me. Why are you trying to make me sad? Well... Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure you're, you're the weird one, and your sister's completely mental and shags everyone. So, it's a fair enough question to ask. So, did she, she kill them because he was cheating on her? I don't, I don't know. Let's just go back here. Hey! Oh, you fucker. Oh, oh no, I've messed that all up now. Log off and meet me over the road. Well, ha okay. I don't think this is going to work somehow. Let's try. Oh. Oh, that's it. It's game over. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't have a fucking clue what happened. Alright. So, have I got to play the whole thing again to say yes? That is annoying. Let's see what happens. Pre-orders. There's a lot of pre-orders, and they've got some strange names. Diet soda of the scratchy towel bath. the radio <laughs> what's going on that screen it's going mental mush oh admin random unlock command eh well, let's see what happens if I go there again and try and say yes this time and see if there's more to get. Sounds like I can even unlock some stuff because I was shit and missed it the first time. Let's see that next time. Please like, please subscribe, call me a prick in the comments if you want. Bye bye.